Clive Palmer's nephew, Clive Mensink, is still being paid more than $4,000 a week despite two outstanding arrest warrants. Mr Palmer testified in the Queensland Supreme Court for the second day as part of a liquidator's bid to freeze $200 million of his assets. Melanie Vojkovic was in court. Outside court, Clive Palmer wanted to dodge questions. No, no, I think, um, I think you're, you, you've got a crush on Mr Mensink. Every time I see you asking about him, but uh, you probably know more about him than I do. The businessman just revealed shocking evidence he's still paying his nephew and former Queensland Nickel director Clive Mensink more than $4,000 a week despite two warrants out for his arrest. But the reality of it is that Mr Mensink's entitled to his normal payments as any other worker would be. Queensland Nickel collapsed in January last year, owing $300 million in debts. Taxpayer-funded liquidators are trying to claw back $70 million in entitlements owed to 800 sacked workers like Bill Somerville. Well, I am sick in the gut about that. Um, you know, and when I see him going on world cruises and stuff like that, it really gets to me because I broke my back out there. I think it's ridiculous. Those four, that four grand could have gone to the people that have lost their job. There must be a heck of a lot of people who'd be re really dirty on the thing, yeah. Well, not a lot surprises me with uh, anything to do with Clive Palmer. When asked by the liquidator's barrister if he was responsible for the change of payment, Mr Palmer said, it all comes from me. I'm the only source of cash. Mr Palmer told the hearing earlier this year he didn't know if Mr Menzink was still receiving payments. Today, he claimed he was heavily sedated at the time. Meanwhile, Interpol is still tracking Mr Mensink across the globe. I don't think he's got a fugitive status personally um, at all, but we can't take... Well, there is a warrant. Yeah, well, I'm just trying to explain the law to you. You can't take from people their property and their entitlement. The hearing has been adjourned until next month. Melanie Vukovic, ABC News, Brisbane.